asshole. Well, other than the outside, outside's not clean. But I got all the straps where they're supposed to be for the most part. Except this one. I got the bed cleaned. There again, for the most part. And that uh, dirt devil that I found on the side, that's what I used to clean out the inside with. So she's clean. I'm gonna give that to the granddaughter. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's pink. She might like it. But anyway, that's ready to head south. It's going to be a Lexington scrapping weekend. Spend a little time with the grandkids and spend a little time scrapping. So I should be ready. Gassed up, oiled up, aired up, cleaned up. Even got my GoPro on my hat. Can you see? Here we go. Well, I'm in Lexington now. It's Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, I should say. But this is what we do. We drive around looking for shit. something down here and it looks to be of a furniture type item and that's what it is too now this is the nicer part of Lexington and there's a couple of apartment complexes that I hit down here now tomorrow this will all be trash pickup day Pictures for prom, I'm assuming. But nice neighborhoods. These are nice neighborhoods. And they're not like ritzy neighborhoods like I don't like. These are more middle income neighborhoods. But well kept. Boyfriend got caught looking at the next door neighbor type action. Stuff like that. You know, after the last event I had when the guys were cutting their grass but they left their lawnmower, I mean, at the curb. I didn't realize they were in the garage just getting gas for it until I grabbed a hold of it and started to load it. And, hey man, we're just getting gas. We're using it. So I'm kind of leery now when I see, you know, a lawnmower at the curb. But right up here is my apartment complex that I go to. So we'll give it a pass through just to see if there's anything out by the dumpsters. Sometimes there are, sometimes there ain't. They got a two or three dumpsters that's been here that I hit. That being the first and the first installment is right there. And there's some more furniture type action. Headboard. And I'm really not interested in that at all. And those 
lawsuit down there. I, I'll do this in more earnest tomorrow, but I'm just looking for stuff that might be set out beside the dumpster right now. Two left hand gloves on. I don't know how that happened. And I threw away the other one. leverage is just about gone. bed frame and a dryer I'm gonna have to come back here and hit this thing there's a few things in there I can grab this stuff. Cords, cables, whatnot. Lexington cop playing hide and seek right there. I don't know if there's anything worthwhile in here. There's a lot of crap laying around though. appears to be all it is just crap and more crap huh. 
I, you know, I'd have bet money some rat bastard had got that cord already. Uh, but I was wrong. I am rat bastard number one. I saw something from over there that looked shiny. Shiny pan, stainless, I'm sure. No steam. This thing. This little bed rail, it's got shit all over it. See that shit? I'm gonna do some rearranging anyway I got that shit on my glove <sighs> that one is attached to the wood frame still and there's a couple metal pipes in there it's just the way these dumpsters are positioned it's hard to get into them mm. I got a pipe I gotta do some rearranging in the truck anyway so load this stuff and I'm gonna and I'm gonna stop down here and do a little rearranging. Quite a few things in here. Definitely take that.
This is cooler than shit. Take that. First time this area has been opened, you can actually see what's in here. Well, they don't make a mess. I don't think they'll mind me being in here. I saw a vacuum cleaner on the other side. Let's go see. Yeah, it wasn't a vacuum cleaner. It was a snow shovel. more junk. I think the good idea is to arrange the go, but this thing here is pretty cool. Pretty cool. arranged as I go along.
Got to do <coughs> a little bit of rearranging. Ideally, can have that shove right in there. that I see what I see. Do you see it? I like that old Pepsi container too. I don't know why I'd want that. But it might be a good cord carrier. Tell you what, man. How would you like to be the guy that gets to clean this shit up? Well, in a wheelchair. Getting to where I'm gonna have to start arranging again.
nothing. <sighs> trash all. Trash, trash, more trash. There's something over there. Okay, we've got a few things in here I'm going to have to get and I'm going to need some assistance on but I don't have no one to help me. Well. Sometimes you just got to go in on your own. right there. It's zip tie that to the bumper guard. Do you see what? I 
missing some scrap, some scrap, a bunch of lovely scrap. And you need to get into my truck. Is that for like a cat? Hey cats. We need to get into my truck. Now, this igloo thing. I'm gonna take that. I don't know that that would not work in one of my trucks. Take it from the house. Don't really know what it is. That's something. Nothing else. It's going to be a mystery bag for sure. <coughs> for sure, that's a mystery duffel bag. You know, so all in all, it not been a bad run. I've definitely had more success at apartment complexes I'm gonna have street scrapping but it's early uh, I plan on going back out later on more toward five six o'clock at night seeing what's out but on a scale of one to ten it wasn't wasn't bad stuff is some stuff out you just got to kind of drive around and look for it which is kind of what scrapping's all about I'm going to do a quick stop right now so I can get this guy off my ass there's a whole family of people going through a trash pile up there brought their kids with them and everything might be something in here we can find, kiddos. But it wasn't bad. We'll see what next stop spring. Oh.